has gone through three constitutional eras, and those eras overlap with three technological eras. So there was the era from 1787 to 1860, which was agrarian, and then the era from, well, 1875, say, to 1965, which was industrial, and then the era which we are now in, which is the information age technology. It's instructive to think about black men in each of those three eras. But there were no black men in jail in the first constitutional era. You don't park your assets. Black men were property, and so you did not put them in jail. In the second constitutional era, you rounded them up. Check out Circular 3591. Okay. General Francis Biddle sent out a circular that said to every state attorney general, stop prosecuting debt as debt, prosecute it as involuntary servitude and slavery. President Roosevelt needed black men because the Japanese had just bombed Pearl Harbor. In our constitutional era, think about Ferguson. Black men are not needed anymore for labor. So we are in a constitutional era where if we are going to do something about the promise of our democracy, the idea that we should close the gap between our ideals and our practices, we will have to do something about the issue of who gets educated and for what purposes. Think about the difference between the constitutional status of Africans and Native Americans, the indigenous people. Africans in that first constitutional era actually had constitutional status. They were constitutional property. Native Americans had no constitutional status. And so, the we the people of the preamble is for anyone in this country that says that this country is my home. And so the We the People, the preamble, opens up constitutional status for the undocumented in this country. Because it did not say, we the citizens. There was no country to be citizens of. It should have said, we the citizens of the federal states. And then we would have been very different. <laughs> so we are free to enact ourselves and our children as constitutional people. All we have to do is say it and believe it and think that the preamble was not something that we did. Think that the preamble is something that we do. That the preamble to our constitution helps us to bring ourselves together as a constitutional people. For if we don't become a constitutional people, if we don't find a way to have a conversation with each other about what it means to be a constitutional person, then our future is not very bright. Thank you. Welcome, J.R. Pitt Hyde of Hyde Family Foundation. Good evening. Charlene Hunter.